Hey everyone, I'm Taylor Martin with Android Authority and I want to show you how to make your own VR headset a la Google Cardboard. I'm guessing it's probably a lot easier than you thought it was, and this is how it's done. Until recently, my only brush with virtual reality was a Virtual Reality World 2 3D Color Golf Club game I got as a present as a kid. I remember it working properly for no more than two or three times and dying indefinitely. When Google announced the cardboard VR headset at I.O. 2014, I didn't bat an eyelash. I think most of us were surprised and didn't really know what to think. But the developments in the VR field, as well as the things made possible by an extremely affordable VR headset, are impressive to say the least. The upshot to Google's own VR headset is that it's extremely affordable and made with common household items, or items which are easily obtained, unlike other headsets. Google even provides a printable template and a bill of materials to help you make your own cardboard at home. Here's what you'll need. A piece of cardboard at least 22 inches by 8.75 inches. Two 2 inch strips of 3 quarter inch wide velcro. One 3 quarter inch neodymium ring magnet. One 3 quarter inch ceramic disc magnet. Two biconvex lenses, roughly 45 millimeter focal length. And optionally, a rubber band and an NFC tag. Additionally, the tools you will need for this project are an X-Acto knife, a straight edge, scotch tape, some spray adhesive or contact cement, and you may also find some superglue handy. Begin by downloading the manufacturer's kit directly from Google, linked below. Extract the zip file, open the scissor cut template, and print the three pages. Use a straight edge to trim away the excess paper from the templates, and use tape or glue to connect the three pieces of the main body template together. Align the corresponding numbers over one another with the light numbers on top. In total, there will be three templates, the body, the lens holder, and the lens divider. Next, trim away any extra cardboard you may have. Working with a large box I salvaged from my recent move, I really only needed one side of the box. Once all the excess is cut away, lightly coat the cardboard with spray adhesive. Let it sit for three to five minutes and press the three separate templates into place. Here is the not so fun part, cutting out every little nib with an X-Acto knife. I started by trimming away all the unnecessary outside pieces, then worked my way in. For all the tight corners or small spaces that need to be cut, it's easier to just perforate the cardboard by stabbing it repeatedly rather than trying to drag and cut, which will often end in you cutting off more than you need or want. The best advice for this part is to be patient. It's going to take you at least 30 to 45 minutes to cut everything out, and your hand will probably cramp up a time or two. I finished by cutting out all the rounded pieces last. You can try to use round objects that are close and radius to what you're cutting, but I chose just slowly freehand all the round cuts. Again, patience is key. Once everything is cut out, it's time to begin assembling. Insert the lenses into the two eye holes, paying attention to their orientation. The paper template tells you which direction the lenses should face. Fold the top third of the lens holder template down and the lower third up, so that the middle panel is sandwiched between the two and the lenses can't fall out. Next, use a straight edge to help you make straight and sharp folds on all the lighter colored lines on the template. Place the ceramic magnet in its designated spot, I ended up gluing it, and then put the neodymium magnet on the opposite side of that same piece of cardboard, and start folding. Insert the lens holder with the divider, and wrap the cardboard frame around it, lining up all the proper slots and grooves. When I folded mine up all the way, I noticed there was an extra flap I didn't need. So I cut it off and opened up the hole for access to the neodymium magnet, which will operate as your select button when using the headset. I added a touch of super glue to the inside of this panel and glued the headset shut. You could also use Velcro here if you choose. Next, add the Velcro strips to the top of the flap where you will later insert your phone, and optionally you can add an NFC tag to your cardboard. Program it by downloading the app Trigger and creating an action which will launch the cardboard app. You will also need to download the cardboard app onto your phone first, then launch the app and insert the phone into the headset. You can now experience virtual reality at will. The problem with this headset is that it won't work with larger phones like the Nexus 6. For that, you will need a headset based on Google Cardboard 2.0, which isn't quite as DIY friendly, but just as possible to make yourself, with a little more homework, no magnets, and a conductive pad required. Either way, this is a fantastic way to get your hands on VR quickly and for dirt cheap. Save for the lenses, you can make three, five, or even more of these for just a few bucks. That is it. It is literally that easy to make your own VR headset, so if you found this helpful and you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the thumbs up button below and don't forget to share it. Also, give Android Authority a follow if you have yet to do so, and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Also, go to androidauthority.com for your source on all things Android. 
And one last time, my name is Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram and most places at Casper Tech. And I will see you in the next one.